Hello my friends, I'm Sarah, welcome to Grace in My Space. Today I have a month three update for our home remodel. Now if you missed our first month, that was all about demo. If you missed our second month, that was all about rebuilding the structural components, all the electrical, all the plumbing, reframing walls, reframing windows, reframing and moving doors. There was a lot of rebuilding. And this month has been all about getting back into some of those more finishing stages. And I cannot wait to show you what we've done. At the end of my last video, I shared a quick peek of the drywall that was hung. But the most exciting part is that they also installed the windows and they are beautiful. And now we are getting into the messy phase of drywall finishing. And in here we had them skim coat the ceiling it was previously textured. And so we're matching the new drywall on the kitchen side with a smooth ceiling throughout the rest of the house. This I am so excited for because it will really modernize the house, but at the same time, it also creates an enormous amount of drywall dust. And so this is just part of living in a renovation, constantly cleaning. I think that the majority of this month I have spent just sucking up drywall dust. Pretty much my main job for the last four weeks. Now in the bathroom, we're finally seeing things actually take shape, which is a very exciting step to start to install tile, start to see actual finishes going in. And I chose this absolutely beautiful porcelain marble lookalike. It is from Bedrosians and I will link all of our tile for you in the description. I chose a black honed marble for the niche and then also for our bull nose around the perimeter and I love how it came together. Now, as you can see, all the drywall is complete and we are to the stage where we're ready to prime, we're ready to paint, and then we're ready to do our flooring. So here in the bathroom, we have the finished product, not yet fully plumbed, but the tile is up and grouted and ready to go. And then over in our little nook area, we have everything plumbed and ready for the double sinks and the vanity and all of the lighting to be installed in here as well. I decided to hire out the painting for all of the priming on the main level as well as all of the ceilings as it's a very large area and I wanted it to be professionally done. Rep Painting is a company that I have used for many years and they did a fantastic job getting this ready for us to do the final coats of paint on my own. Now heading into the mud room, if you've missed my assembly video, I have a full tutorial on how to assemble and install these PAX IKEA units. Our builder installed them to the wall. We're going to be adding crown molding across the top of them to make them look built in. And I found this amazing antique wardrobe on Facebook Marketplace. I brought it home, I'm cleaning it up. It had a slight odor that we're getting rid of, but all that took was a good washing and some baking soda and vinegar. This piece is going to go right next to those built-in IKEA cabinets and it's going to serve as storage for vacuums and kind of like a utility closet. And in the mudroom, we're also starting the process of laying our heated floors, which is fantastic and I cannot wait for those to go in, followed by the tile. Now back into the main living area, the kitchen, the dining room, the hallway, the entryway, all of these spaces are getting primed and painted on the ceiling. And while I normally do all the painting on my own projects, I did hire out these very large projects and I am so grateful that I did. All those ceilings would have been an absolute neck breaker and they were able to accomplish the entire main level in a day. Now that everything is primed and the ceiling is ready to go, I can paint the walls at my own pace. 
Now you guys know that I am a huge proponent of DIY. Most of my projects are DIY style, but this has been such an amazing gift to hire out this renovation from everything, starting with demo to rebuilding, to laying tile, laying floors, painting. We could not have done any of this without the hard work of our contractor and all of the subs, the plumbers, the electricians, the painters, the drywallers. It has been amazing to see a talented crew come together to bring my design and my vision to life. They've started to lay the tile floor, which is a wonderfully exciting step. And we are doing heated floors in the mudroom and bathroom, as you can see here. And the tile is absolutely gorgeous. It's porcelain, and I will link it up for you in the description if you're interested. It is painting day. So the new floors got delivered. And everywhere that you see white is primed. Tyler did that. And I am gonna be painting it white. So when I'm done, it's not gonna look like I did anything, unfortunately, other than it will be a softer white. I'm doing white dove. It's a little bit creamier. This is like super bright white primer. And I just wanna get it all painted in this area before they lay the floors. So I'm not working around brand new floors and having to cover them. And so today is a great day. This is good progress. Let's go. After three months of sitting and watching others do the work, it honestly felt so good to grab a paintbrush and put some of my own effort into making these spaces feel more finished. I'm using White Dove from Benjamin Moore on the main level walls, which is a lovely creamy white. As you can see here, the difference between the trim work and the primed walls. It's a subtle difference, but it really warms up the space quite a bit. And it's not a stark white, and it will look really nice in soft lighting as well. I love using white on the main level walls because no matter what I do in this space, it will look really nice with the paint color on the walls. We also started having our engineered hardwood floors laid in the main level, which is a very exciting step after living on subfloor for three months. It's turning out absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait to show you the finished product in next month's update. Now let me show you what I did from the transition going from wood floor into the tiled space at the back entrance. Now the floor is running this way and the tile runs the same direction. And rather than having a transition strip between the two, we're just flipping a piece of the wood floor uh, perpendicular to those two types of flooring and that's gonna serve as our transition. So there's no toe stubber right there and it's a lot cleaner look than having a transition strip. So I think that's gonna look really nice. Now we are still very much living in chaos, still trying to cover all the furniture every single morning, uncovering it every single night but we are at the point where it feels like we are nearing the finish line of being able to really put the finishing touches on the house and move back in. And I cannot wait to show you the next update where I'm gonna be painting walls, decorating. They're gonna have flooring. I really hope we're gonna have flooring. And it's gonna be coming together as a house once again. And next week I have a very special surprise for you. This is a home renovation update that you are not expecting. So I'll see you next week.